When you log into WeVideo Classroom as a teacher, you will have the ability to create a class. To do that, click the Create Class button and give your class a name. You can also add a section and a period and a grade level if you want. Click Create and it will add the class into this window. To add more classes, you would just click the Create Class button again and go through the same process. To go in and add your students and create assignments, you'll click on the name of the class. By default, it opens up with a little test practice assignment, but we will jump into adding people first. So to add people, you'll click right here where it says People, and then you can import from Google Classroom. From here, just choose the class you want to import from, click Import, and then you will get your students imported. You'll notice that if they are uh, black font, that means they already have a WeVideo account. If they are gray, that means that they have not yet logged in. So students who have not used WeVideo before will be gray, but as soon as they log in, they will turn black. So once you have your students imported, you can go back to your assignments. So if you're interested in using this first one, you can see it's in draft mode right now, you would need to actually assign it. To assign a project, you would click the three dots and then hit Publish. If you want to create your own new assignment, click Create Assignment, give it a name, add a description, you can add a due date, and then the important part here, you can decide if this is an individual project or a team project. So a team will allow students to work together. You can choose how many teams it creates, and note that students select which team to join. Um, you can change it after, once they've placed themselves into teams, you can move them around after. So you can also choose individual. When you select which one you want, you can hit either save draft, or you can hit this publish button. Once you hit publish, you'll see it turns green, and you'll see, just like Google Classroom, turned in zero of three. On the student's view, I can go in, this is one of the students that's in that class, they see the class, they can open the class, and they can see the project with the due date, they can see that it's a team project. They have this blue button that will tell them to jump in. When they click on that, it will give them, if you chose a team project, the ability to join whichever team they choose. It's probably a good idea to have the students know ahead of time which team they should join, so that everyone is the way that you want them to be set up. But again, if someone accidentally picks the wrong team, you can switch it later. So if I choose Team 1 and I join, as a student, I go now into the editor. If I close back out and I see my assignment, now my blue button says Continue, and it will always bring me into that same project. So for example, if I put something into this project and then close it, on the teacher's end of it, I can now go back into that project and I can review the progress of my students. I can see that Team 1 has started, and I can actually jump into their assignment, and I can view their progress. I can provide feedback to them down here. Uh, I can even make edits if I wanted to. I can add to their project. If I want to change up the teams, you can see right here in the assignment, we have progress as the first bar, but teams is the second one. So if you want to move this student into a different team, you would use the three dots, move to a different team, and then choose a different team for them. So that's how you move students afterwards. When a student is finished with their project, they will hit the Turn In button. You can hit Turn In again, they'll get some stars, and it will show them that their assignment has been turned in. On the teacher's end, I can now see, here's my practice project, I can see that one out of three has been have been turned in. I can open it, I can see which team has turned it in, I can review their video, it plays right here in this window. I can choose to download it, save it to my drive, and I can return it back to the students. The grading portion will need to be done in Google Classroom or in Aspen.